adds one of my favorite stories is the story of David and Goliath. And to anybody that looks at that fucking story, what they see is the underdog beating the giant. But if you look deep into that story, David spent years in the fucking fields fighting animals, protecting his sheep from fucking beasts. And the meaning of that is it takes years to become an overnight success and to create history. We've all fucking worked for this moment. We've all fucking prepared. We've worked our balls off. And now, today's our fucking opportunity to make history. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. One, two, three. Yes! Okay, boys, listen, I don't have to say much today. We know what this game's all about, what it means to us as a club. You can compete with them, fellas. You're just as good. Don't let anybody tell you any different. But we've got to get on the ball today, and we've got to be confident. And we've got to be clinical as well, fellas, today. Because we're going to get our opportunities, and that's where the confidence comes in. But we've got to finish them off. We've got to be on the front foot today. On vous rappelle, ce n'est pas un match de la MLS, mais bien un match de quart de finale, match retour du championnat canadien. Un match verdict nul de 2 à 2 face au York 9 FC. Euh, York 9 FC qui est une équipe de la première canadienne ligue. Euh, et là, toute la pression est sur l'impact de Montréal. Embrace this challenge and enjoy every single minute. The main feeling for tonight is just excitement. You know, as, as a professional, you live for these moments when you can play against an MLS team and, and test yourself against better opposition and just to prove to people that, you know, the, the Premier League and the Canadian Premier League is here to stay. If Y9 can reproduce the performance from the first leg, there's a real possibility of an upset in the Montreal air tonight. One of the keys for York 9, they have to score because they start 2-2. Away by Porter, helped out by Telfer, Aparicio for Murafushi. Murafushi away from Uruti. Simon and it's Telfer. Oh, he's missed it. But Ryan Telfer was in behind, there was no flag. And Jimmy Brennan knows that he probably should have buried it. Canadian Championship, a place in the semi-finals at stake. Tied air. Porter got up. Then it took a ricochet in the end. Important that York 9 don't panic, keep their shape, keep the belief. Played in field and tied air. Unmarked here, Safia tied air. Missed the target, but it is a corner. No, look. Look on the replay, he didn't touch it. Matthew, look at the replay. He didn't touch it. You made that call. Deep towards the back post, looking for Bayer. Jesus Christ. Unbelievable. It's an argument the coach will never win. That's all you gotta do, just hammer them a little bit and they'll give you a call. Fucking Joel. Back for Piatti. Watched by Absi. Piatti. They want handball. Referee points to the penalty oh spot. Oh my god, you're fucking joking! Fucking joking! Needed a little bit of help perhaps from his assistant. It's a penalty to the impact. Hey, well done, Matthew. Well done. Absolutely disgraceful. But next time, look at the replay before you make that call because all this now is second phase from your mistake. Piani for Montreal. Goal for Montreal. And now the North Star bell can ring in celebration. York 9 need two goals in a hurry. Mr. Barry blows his whistle for the final time. I can't ask any more from the boys. A handball for the penalty and unlucky, but we, we gave everything and you know you can't ask for much more from our team. Next season will come stronger and better.
We're the number one team for creation of chances. So we're like, okay, if we're number one in that side of it, and I think we're about third or fourth, we're right in the middle of the pack defensively, we're not getting what we deserve. It's a travel itinerary for Halifax. Three fifty in the morning, that is stupid o'clock. You can't sit here and expect a different result if you just keep doing the same things. That's yeah. the definition of insanity, right? Yeah. The old saying, that's not us, that's not what we're about. We're constantly looking to improve the players we have and find better solutions for the ones who can't embrace that culture of growth and high performance. What's Galan's stats comparatively? I think we probably needed a couple more senior older heads that some of the other squads who, who have done well have and that's what we addressed obviously in the transfer window so age experience leadership height he's been the captain everywhere he's gone and it would be two spanish one italian all of the right age profile one former juventus one former valencia one former athletic Madrid. Welcome to BC Place. A chance for David to slay Goliath as the young horses from Cavalry with a chance to extend their legs away from home and a chance to upset the Vancouver Whitecaps. Cavalry is a team that seemingly just find ways to win. To reach the summit against the Caps, it's improbable, but not impossible. We love challenge. You know, we're always a group of guys here that you know, we want to defy the odds all the time. So when people say you can't do that, or that at some point they got to do this, brilliant. That's music to our ears because when people doubt us, it rises us up. So uh, we're looking forward to this challenge. Whitecaps Cavalry from BC Place. There is Bangura. Plays it across. Reyna, chest that down, straight through Wild and Trafford there to help. You see the quickness in the Whitecaps attack. Better start here, Tommy Wielden Jr. says that Cavalry's not gonna play with any fear. Ball play to the top, Jordan Brown on the run, can he get there? He does, Brown, back in the net! Jordan Brown scored the first goal in Cavalry history, and what a moment here! Shock and awe, Cavalry off and running, up one nothing. The away goal for Cavalry means Marcus Santos' side. They need two. In swing corner, good one. Far post, how did he miss? Now he can play spoiler. Here's Bear. Crossover. Still on it. Blocked by Wilden. Here's a chance. In ball. Deflects, and it's in. 157 minutes against CPL competition, but the Whitecaps finally get their goal, and it couldn't come at a better time. They need one more. Shot from distance, well out and eyes from the top corner. Lucas Venuto stung that one. It is a corner kick. Escalante. Far post, he's there, and it's in! Dominic Zator! What a response! Dream lad stuff! Here comes the cavalry! 2-1, Zator checks, Zator rises, top corner, absolutely nothing he could do. They've gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with an established MLS team, bigger budget, bigger names, Bigger reputation, well, not a bigger game. Tommy Wilden Jr. pointing at the watch, says it's our time, it's about time. And that's it. Vancouver, the home of Upset City. For the first time, a Canadian Premier League side has defeated a club team from Major League Soccer. The Canadian Premier League team captures the magic of this Canadian Cup competition. Honestly, I'm over the moon. <laughs>
I mean, I'm super excited. The boys have been working so hard, and to be able to take down a team like Vancouver White Caps is just phenomenal. I mean, we're just yeah! over the moon. <laughs> that. Just over the moon. The boys got to feel good for you. You used to play with White Caps, and you got to feel the winner. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's coming back here. That's this one of the things I wanted, just to kind of score against them. It's <laughs> I, don't, I can't really think right now. I'm just so excited. So I think for him to go back there as a Calgary boy um, against a club that you know he didn't have great success with and to be able to knock them out, um, I think it was a special moment. And what a celebration. I think that will live with me for, uh, for a long time. back from Trinidad um, obviously I knew my, my starting spot where well, I would have been given up my starting spot because nobody gonna leave for a weekend miss three games and and come back and get the start, starting spot you know unless you Lionel Messi or something but I think I needed that I was saving my career the team started playing well and I was happy for that you know, I was happy and it's one old saying, if it's not broken, don't fix it. I know all I had to do was support these guys. If it's extra work that I have to do to get back on the starting, the starting uh, 11, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I have to do. Right, the first we'd like to welcome Mr. Jose Gallan to the group. His English is better than mine and John's. Welcome Jose officially to the club and pleasure to have you here. Uh, and for you guys to know, uh, flying in tomorrow, uh, we have signed a centre forward from Italy, Michele Pellucci, and he will be arriving here in Canada tomorrow uh, and then joining up with the group after that. Everybody got the idea? Rafa, ball of urine, play. Three touch, Max, let's go. What do you want to see different than the fall season, even though it's plus 35 out there? Uh, wins, first and foremost, just win. We want to get rewarded for the football we play, and that means we have to be better in both boxes. We talked about a lot in here. We need that killer instinct. Uh, we need to put teams away when we're on the front foot and not give away goals or opportunities at the other end. So. Uh, that's why we're looking to add the pieces that we are uh, to make sure that we can, we can do that and take all of the positivities but get better. The same as any other team in the league would want to do. One team won it, six teams aren't happy. Um, everyone will be trying again to, to get that right in the full season, so we're no different. Rob Gale feeling that his very young team needed some more veteran experience. Glenn has played all over the world and brings that requisite experience. 33-year-old, 5'9", midfielder of Lyon, Spain. Valor's actually had more possession in this match. And we stand right now 51%. In fact, Forge is just being sloppy on the ball in the second half, 82%. Thomas. Good move, inside the six, he's dancing, skips it over the goalkeeper, oh my word! Like on the dance floor on a Saturday night, Cadell Thomas, silky, smooth, slick, the three points, and the third goal of the day, that's what it's all about. Look at those moves. And Forge, they're gonna be Top the table at the end of the weekend, no matter what happens. What the maestro wash, bro?
Do I gotta post? <laughs> is it better to post before a game or after a game? I usually um, feel like after. Cause like, I mean, like I would post like even like your your pregame stuff, and then after the game, obviously yeah. big pick. Yeah. Big pick. Big pick. Yeah, 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 especially if you win. win. Yeah. yeah, yeah. See, that's the thing. That's why I do that. That's why I don't post. You know what I mean? I'm like, yo, this is like. Let me let me get to the W first, and then if I have a pick that the one yeah. you guys took, then I'll post it. You could put thanks for the thanks for the support. Better luck next time, stuff like that. You know. That's true, yo. Those you know? fans will probably appreciate. That's like it. a Ronaldo type post, you know. My followers, <laughs> yeah. I'm stuck at a certain. Gotta get the content. Yeah, yeah, but, but the thing is, I don't really like to post. Like I post only soccer picks because so then you like can't, you can't complain. Yeah, I can't complain time. at the same complain. time. But it's like, damn. Yeah. What would you what would you call a website for, for myself? What, what kind of business was it? Would it be like a, a soccer a coaching? business? Yeah, maybe a coaching business. Call me kids. Call me kids. Kids. Call me kids. Call me kids. No. See, that's why you don't do this part. <laughs> call me <laughs> kids. Yo, yeah, kids. I'm getting no no <laughs> clients. I'm going to jail. No clients. Kick it with Kwame. Yeah, kick there it with Kwame. Nah, nah, that's KKK. Oh shit! Yeah, bro, chill. Yeah, come on, come on. I like I like the idea. I know where it's coming from. Greetings from Clark Stadium on a cool, windy afternoon in Edmonton. The Eddies getting set to face Forge, who have been setting the pace in the Canadian Premier League's fall season. And then you just get crazy. With me, I'm With me. With myself. Because everybody up to this one. Thank you very much. The rain is pouring, by the way, guys, but that's blessing. Where I'm from, we call the rain blessing. So we're getting blessed before we win the game. Yeah? Enjoy your stay. Good. They've come from 42 degrees down to this. They don't fancy it. Now with that wind in their face and the rain in their face, they don't fancy it. It's good. So you feel okay. You're ready to go. We come out happy. Great. Let's go, gentlemen. Now. And for the last two games, I've been starting, so... So, hey, I'm a prime example of, of, of hard work and staying positive and just be ready for when your time is called and everything else will work out for themselves. I don't think the wind's getting stronger. The Eddies haven't conceded a single goal at Clark Stadium in their last three home games. Looking none the worst for a couple of full starts. Moses couldn't control it, but will win the free kick. Go green! Go green! Soria curls it just over the bar. Never came down quickly enough. But my goodness, this game is crying out for a goal, isn't it? Now looking forward into the area. Well, now then, almost a chance there for Duke as he took a tumble. Now Amiobi's got a little bit of room to work in here. Amiobi looking inside. RJ Cabra couldn't keep the effort down. Onto the field, so first change for the home side. Harry Moses. Trinidad and Tobago International. When a player does that, and comes off like this in the game that they want to be playing in, uh, you know that they're now there for the team. And uh, this is what we have to have with the club, so I'm delighted with uh, Kareem. I'm very happy to say that we've got the Kareem Moses that I knew I was going to sign you know, at the very beginning. And he's just this big personality, this, this guy that just enjoys life, and this is what I want him around the team. Down. Down. Down, down, down. You sure, bro? Yo. <laughs> bro. Bro. Bro, everything for you is a joke, man. Eh. <laughs> you happy with that? That is a masterpiece. This year is the main thing. That's why it's that's why it's the head of the house. 
When you walk in from all different angles in this house, you see this. And I wanted something to go with it. So those are the three I'm going with. This is like the three wise men. Think about it that way. Uh -huh. Yo, I just came up with a name. <laughs> no, he didn't. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. This, the three these three paints are the three wise men. Yeah. When Jesus was born, bro. The three wise men. There's a video of this guy on the street dancing by himself. Like, you want to see somebody who's not normal? Hey, this is hey, Moses. Hey, this, 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 this. In the this. middle of the street by himself. Obviously, I'm going to look like I'm a, I'm a crazy dude, but I'm, I'm hearing the music. No, right? You like them? I like them. When I went home and see my son, that was a breaking point. That's when I just pressed the restart button, and now I'm refreshed, and now I'm that Kareem. Now I'm that free spirit, excited, funny dude. So now, I'm revamped. I'm like reborn. Clean it as hell, like it. Hi, how are you? Welcome, everybody. Welcome. Enjoy the game tonight. Bonjour. No. Bonjour. <laughs> Hello. Hi. How are you? Everybody doing well tonight? Yeah. yeah! Hands up if this is your first experience of a Valor soccer game. It is. Excellent, okay. My name is Rob Gale. So I'm the coach and general manager. Who knows where Zambia is? Now, I was actually born in Zambia. My dad was a teacher and a soccer coach there, funnily enough. And then I, uh, I grew up most of my life in England. That's why I have the silly accent. That's how I managed to get this job because everyone with an English accent sounds like they know something about soccer, right? And then I came to Canada in 2000 for the very first time to Winnipeg, and I moved here since 2005, so I'm a new Canadian. I went through my citizenship, and the great part about Canada and soccer is it's the world's game, right? It brings us all together. It's the best, no, it's the best world game in the whole world. Say that again. It's the best game in the whole world! Yes, well done, Kermit. I like that haircut too, excellent. Hands up if you play soccer. Who plays soccer out here? Yes. I'm really positive we're going to win tonight. You're bringing the luck. We're in our first year. We're averaging between six and 7,000 fans a game. That's a pretty good start. I don't know where the Bombers were 95 years ago. Well, we're not the biggest market and we have the biggest fans. So we're doing something, right? And we're connecting. Now, if we can turn it into the winning football that we all want, then we're exactly where we want to be. Let's go, boys! Battle on three, one, two, three! Battle! Come on! Let's go! Come on! Come on! Have each other's backs! Let's go! Be brave. Enjoy. Enjoy. Valor FC is winless in its last nine matches. They welcome Pacific FC fresh off their first win of the fall campaign. Valor looking for their first win of the fall season. You can also see here the two new signings, Michele Paolucci and Jose Galan getting the start. It's a critical, even though it's early on in the fall season, uh, these points are needed for all these teams yes. to stay alive. Hey, mind, Gordon, mind, focus, work, come on. And now a dangerously close free kick here for Valor. Italian Michele Paolucci, who was just signed a couple weeks ago. This one will be Marco Bustos with a nice little flick on by Dylan Sacramento, and that will find its way into the net. How about that for the newcomer, Michele Paolucci, and Valor will take the 1-0 lead four minutes in. First goal for the new signing as well, playing in the attacking position. Excellent, 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 excellent! Touch guy, top quality, that could We can't get the cross in. Great run back by the Spaniard, Delan hustling. Played, excellent, well played, keep it going, that's better. Wider, wider. Time Mikey's feet. PFC trying to get into the middle, Verhoeven trying to get that Shit. in. Thomas will just flick it high, still hasn't cleared yet. Blake Smith now with a clear shot on goal. Thomas finding his way in the middle, and that will make its way to Ben Fisk. Clear lines. Let's go. Come on. 
Pace it through the ball. PFC pushing forward now. And it could be get out, pretty get out, crushing to the out. other team if you score in the final minute or second of get a out. half. And that is exactly what they do. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable defending. Come on, come on, come on, let's play soccer. Right before half time, concentrate, we said. Positive note, like that. Hey, hey, fucking book him. Oh, fucking hell. Then lay the advantage, Jesus Christ. He sees the opening there, finds it. To Bustos. Mohi now manages to get through. Bellucci gets his head on it and is denied by the bar. It's coming. Come on, it's coming. Patience, hey. Marco, patience. Patience. Get in the box. Bellucci getting the ball back there to Sacramento. Slides it through to Petrasso. Yes. Nice little move there, but he can't get the shot oh, off. For fuck's sake. Hey, the football's excellent. Come on. And now Petrasso turning on the Jets the other way. Tries to find Paulucci just a little too far ahead. Oh, Worth is able to get God. there. Then he stops Mooncat as well. Oh, he's got the fucking advantage. That's three fucking times. That's the second time. The time is ticking down for Valor. Runners, runners, runners. Aguina Rena sends Penalty. that into the box. Thomas again getting his head on it. You can see Thomas and McNaughton doing battle. McNaughton does get his arms around him. The ref was in perfect position to see it. Referee pointed to the spot immediately. And he does it. Petrasso in stoppage time now. The 91st minute will get the tying goal for Valor. Move the ball. Move the ball. Move the ball. But it is over. Valor. Two, oh, yeah, Pacific yeah. two, still looking for their first victory of all season, but they do get two goals in a game for the first time. I don't know how we don't win football matches. We make life hard for ourselves. I hate the results. Look, I, I go home and want to bang my head against the wall and not speak to anyone. There's definitely lonely elements of the job because you feel like now when you're losing, you're just standing on an island on your own. All the coaches would say the same thing. I feel the pressure because I want to win, but I didn't feel the pressure of the ownership saying, you're not the right man to lead. How was practice? Good. Good? Good tempo. Been excellent the last couple of days. Speed of play was good, just an hour today. And we're changing up the per diems to actually do more team meals. Okay. And that was in discussion with a leadership group that some people are saving their per diems or they, they use. Than eating right. Yeah, you know what it's yeah. like. Yeah. Some, some players uh, are a bit more frugal. Okay. and would rather have like a Tim Horton sandwich and a good meal right. uh, and save the money. So that meal, as soon as we arrive, the hotel's going to put on, okay. which should then give us some fuel for the training. We have a young team that is learning what it's like to be a professional soccer player and, that, uh, and how, what you need to do and you're playing at a higher level that, you know, you make a mistake, it's going to cost you. Um, and you got to keep playing on that edge and you got to be on that edge to be successful and you can't you know go back a little bit you got to be aggressive and you got to keep going okay That's it. Mm -hmm. good luck on team see you after you you cheering loud mm -hmm. love you love you too We want to be clinical, we want to be connected, we want to be ruthless. Um, we want to play in front of our fans again. I think they'll provide the 12th man, so if we go out and give as good as we got, we'll make this game interesting. Fans, the 2019 Canadian Championship continues tonight at Spruce Meadows as Cavalry FC hosts Montreal Impact. 
we're going to take everything we got. And that first 10 minutes gets all of these people on our side. That's the 12th man. Let's play on the psychology and let's make this a fucking memorable night. Let's go. One, two, three, catch! Head tennis going on, Jose Escalante up well. And Jay Wielden back for Carducci, who missed his kick. I don't think it's on to play our midfielders from no, the centre-back. I think back. what happens, Mauro can drop between the two. If he stays, he can play Jay, that's not fair. Boucher swings it in. Big man forward from the back. Escalante trying to keep the ball going. And then the ball coming forward. Safir Taider. Well, it's a sunny evening like this, and it's Cohen, it's in the back of the net. And the opening goal goes to the Montreal Impact in 13 minutes. Come on, let's go, let's go. Oh, when the catch! Go marching it! Boucher, delivery, and Zator! Come on, come on, need some momentum again. Mavila, can he keep the ball going while all the big men are still forward? Escalante into the area. Trying to find a way around Baia. Did it break for Trafford? My goodness, that was close. In search of a goal and in search of a way back into this semi-final for Cavalry. Desperate for an equaliser. Marco! Get up! Fuck me. Jose, let's go! Come on! Corner again. Headed on by Pasquati, and a fantastic save from Jay Wielden, and it's not Cavalry's night. Referee's blown his final whistle, it's all over, and the Montreal Impact are marching on to the final of the Canadian Championship. Hey, make sure we clap the fans. I couldn't be more proud of the effort you give each and every single fucking one of you. It's painful getting knocked out in the semi-finals, but we kept it fucking close. We went out heroically. We want to now prepare for the championship final. Let's fucking win this fucking league. One, two, three, count!